Hi there. We're going to go over the November 7 ACA session with uh, Tamari Norman. Uh, and this is through my Kahal program, helping me create a e-commerce business. So uh, we listened to a man, uh, Tamari Norman, who told us his life story, uh, but more importantly, told us that through a series of failures, um, well, whether it was tearing his ACL uh, and being unable to pursue a professional career in um, rugby, or um, his attempts to become a chef uh, in his early life, and then later finding uh, through those failures, he is a chef again, uh, proving everyone wrong, if you will, uh, when it comes to making the meals uh, for a conscious food uh, limited company he created and between Papua New Guinea and New Zealand. So some of the interesting things uh, that he had to say uh, that I'd like to share with you is uh, e-commerce is a grind. And uh, of course, it could be fun, but uh, you're going to have to be putting in a lot of work in order to make it fruitful. And I completely agree with this. And I hope uh, what you'll see uh, while you're working on your first business is that you're going to have to invest a lot of time, a lot of you, in order to be uh, successful in that. Uh, which brings me to uh, the next part that was very clear on uh, sharing with us was that you have to know when to let go of a business. So just pull it off life support and uh, take the lessons that you learned from that and apply it to a new business. And uh, I think this is really good because as entrepreneurs, we got to know uh, now that we're investing time, energy, uh, that could be one year, maybe you're successful, three years, maybe you're finally getting off the ground, five or in his case, 12 years before he created a an overarching brand uh, that uh, is now being seen and distributed across the world. So. Um, one of the things he felt was important to share, and I uh, agree with, is that imagery is important. And um, when we're talking about this imagery, what we're talking about is that uh, you can have the most beautiful website on the planet, and um, you could open or, or, or constantly see this, this filling of crickets. No, no one's coming into your business. And that's because this is a, a failure of understanding your customer, your customer avatar. So how can we work on this with imagery alone? So we can do something like create five templates, something that's going to be, you work on now, they're going to be individual. And um, what we're going to keep in mind is keeping the same aesthetic style. Uh, that's the logo, the font, uh, color palette. Uh, but uh, we want them to be different enough. Why? Because we're going to be putting them on different media platforms. So the overall aesthetic that's going to be on your Facebook will be slightly different than what you put on your Instagram and then TikTok and, and on and on. Try to have fun, right? And then uh, what's going to bridge all of them is the content that you're providing. Content, 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 content. You got to provide something that is going to appeal to people on Facebook in the way that it's being distributed to them in that background or template that we created. And uh, then we're going to go down the line uh, with all the other media platforms. Again, why? Because these are fun fundamentally what uh, your cu potential customer or true fan engages with. And it's your lead magnet. It's your, your little seed that pulls them to your business. And moving on to uh, something that was very powerful. Um, Tamari was very sincere uh, when telling of uh, some of the struggles, personal and professional, and uh, just know yourself was the strongest thing he probably did in that, that whole video. And I uh, added that with, if you don't move fast enough, you can't, uh, you can get left behind. Uh, and he explained this by saying, this means calling the manufacturers. You, if you're, of course, uh, providing a product, they may tell you it's 100 for X amount of dollars. They may tell you 1,000. You won't know until you're 
doing it, grinding out those calls, uh, figuring out what you can, you need so that you can provide it to your potential customer. Okay. Um, and one of the other lessons, uh, that I think was really cool of Travis to synthesize, uh, out of this whole summary, um, is that uh, you need to understand your why. You have to know uh, why you're doing this, what is your goal, so that when you hit that failure or when you hit that success, you know because you are you are moving towards that uh, why. That's everything I would like to share with you. Thank you for your time. Adios.